Dear boring people of Reddit, why do keep asking what Reddit thinks about your country? I've been spending too much time taking about me. So now it's your turn. What do you think about me? Quote, I think you're a magnificent person named Gorf. What I am sick of these people asking is, why do you comment and not upvote? Quote, I see this question almost every day. I don't care about the upvotes, just give me something to read. Finally someone asked. I find these interesting when they are about a country I know abso fucking lutely nothing about. Where's all the Redditors from Nairobi or Tanzania or Kyrgyzstan or Morocco? I'd be much more interested in this question about those countries rather than non-German. Redditors of Reddit. What do you know about Germany? Quote. Like FFS. Germany is still a major world power and once was a bigger one. Every fucking one has heard of it. Yeah, but not a lot of people. Okay, let's face it. Mostly Americans. Don't actually think about what it would be like in Germany. Or Spain. Or Russia. Unless a school project asks for it or something. So when these questions are asked. It makes the person comment think about it. And it's an educational experience. One of my favorite things to do is to pick a place on Google Earth and explore it. I really like looking at Russian settlements in Siberia and islands north of Australia. I'd like to think other Americans like me are interested in places other than home. Curiosity. Fair enough. What country are you from? I'm from that country. You can just skip those questions if you don't want to answer though. I read a lot on threads like that and it's kind of fascinating to learn stuff about different countries and people's perspective on each country. Yes, just scroll on if you are interested in what you see. Same for people who spend so much time and energy being worked up about reposts. Just scroll on. Y'all, it really can be that simple. Karma, whoring, snoring, because I want to know if someone knows about Macedonia. They grow nuts right? No you're thinking of melatonin. Dear passive aggressive person of Reddit why do you feel the need to ask this in such a way? Dear commenter of Reddit, it was mildly annoying to see everyone repeat the question and I was bored. Dear op, you don't have to insult an entire group of people who are bored and want to know what outsiders think of their country. It's mildly annoying, maybe, but you're on a computer or phone. Just scroll past those asks if they really make you so upset you had to make your own ask that insults people who are just curious. Dear random poster, do you know where I left my keys? Has anyone seen my keys? I have them. Yeah, honestly those people just want free karma or something. Anyway what do you guys think of Finland? You got cute moomins and gross licorice. Do you have fins? Do you have land? What if they just want an external opinion? That's what I think everyone is looking for when they post those asks. Like I'm American, and everyone thinks we're all freedom and burgers. Which I mean, yeah, but we have other qualities. Lol. It's like, what comes to your mind when you think of? Insert country. Quote, I'm American. I'm not very political, and refuse to look at the news for anything on the national scale. So I know nothing about other countries' views on us. But I heard of stereotypes of my country. Which I find hilarious. But it's a way to see an outsider's view on what they think of when they hear your country. And it's an interesting thing. It is funny sometimes to see people go, You're American? Yeehaw yeehaw burger gun. Carrot do carrot you carrot understand carrot me. Quote. I have a British friend and we rip on each other like this all the fucking time. All in good fun of course. I'll be like pop pop cheerio god save the queen in an exaggerated British accent. And she'll retort with freedom. Burgers and goons in a southern accent. I think. My favorite with my British friends was to say, hey man. Don't use the lift to take the pram from the flat to the lorry or whatever the fuck it is you. People do when you get upset. Pop pop. No one in the UK has ever said pop pop. No one. Not a single person. Ever. Not even in Cleethorpes and they're pretty strange round there. Apart from Dave. He's alright. To get teached English words more good. More good or asterisk. 
because they're bored. You and them may have more in common than you think. Also, and hear me out, but not everyone sees the exact same posts as you and may not have had the chance to say something insightful before. I'd gladly weed through more boring food answers for that one bit that's actually quite interesting because they work for that country's tourism department and they're collecting intel to shore up their image because those people had to leave YouTube like if you from Brazil like if you listen to this in 2020 I must admit I laughed at the parodies of those that did the rounds at one point thumbs up if you were watching in 2023 and the like I did laugh once Mate if you're gonna call us out at the very least don't be passive aggressive about it. Your country can easily become an echo chamber. In these politically trying times it is good to have an outside opinion. Well I do like answering them so, asterisk shrug asterisk. It's just students trying to make Reddit do their geography homework for them. Because countries are supposed to matter or something. Politics lol am I right? I've like in four countries it is pretty cool seeing how everyone feels about each one but I totally understand your point it shouldn't be a defining feature guaranteed international karma it's an easy way to get up votes because Americans can't resist telling people what they think of someone else's country how do you really feel about our country though to not get bored lmao where's you you I don't care what people think of my country I do however have a problem if people judge me or treat me differently based on other people's actions that I couldn't control. Treat me as a person based on who I am, not my nationality or anything else. What country are you from mate? My theory is it's actually Americans trying to find out what life is like elsewhere without arousing the suspicion of our FBI agents because I want Americans to know about the world beyond their borders. That's a lame question like who cares? You mean the Australians? Yes. It's called cultural cringe, a phenomena in which large numbers of Australians are what could best be called a mob of soft cocks, who seek affirmation that they are of some value to someone somewhere in the world. Being Australian myself I find it extremely embarrassing every time one of my pathetic reveling countrymen puts on a whining cringing display that would make Dobby the house elf proud. Get over it Aussies, you live at the ass end of the planet. You are ruled by total tossers. You don't make anything anyone wants to buy. And if it wasn't for the fact that you speak English and will work in Hollywood for cheap, no one would ever have heard of you. Now it's the same for a lot of countries mate. I think people asking just need an ego boost. Thanks for completely validating cultural cringe. So despotic old reddit stalwarts can make unpleasant remarks that vanish into the depths of the downvoted section. I think they're wondering what information about their country makes it past their borders and how it gets distorted. Same reason lots of online content exists of various countries reacting to facts about other countries, etc. It doesn't make them boring people just because the post bores you. Just different tastes on what's interesting and there's room here for everyone. Just scroll by. Dear idiots of Reddit, why do you keep fucking up the title of your post? I live in Israel so I don't need to ask there are enough posts at our history memes. I've been dying to ask what non-Dutch people think of the Netherlands. There are only two things I hate in this world. People who are intolerant of other people's cultures in the Dutch. The next post is asking about Germany. Insecurity is the reason why they make those posts. IDK if you're one to talk Putin, you got a lame history yourself PLZ enlighten us with interesting posts. Did you know that a lot of healthcare services we pay up front for in America? They pay for with tax dollars in other countries. I learned that here. This is offensive to boring people who don't ask what Reddit thinks of their country. The Americans just wanna know if the rest of the world thinks as badly of the USA as they do. I thought this many times about Germany today, zero. Then how do you write this comment? I typed it. Are technically the truth. What do you think about Singapore?
I admire their intolerance of chewing gum on the pavement. Great food, cuz people have nothing better to do but be on Reddit and be idiots. Like you and me. Because we're bored of our first world lives and want to be told how great it is. Ops. I just asked about my country, please leave your thoughts. Lol. Cuz that's what boring people do. Because the question already. Did you know that in the Midwest USA it is customary to serve chili stew with glazed cinnamon buns? Seriously, what do you think about Malawaki? Karma. While we're on the topic, what does everyone think of Canada? It's like the number 69. Some people think, nice. Others think, gay, while a select few think, what about it? Quote, is it too much to ask for some positive feedback? Every day, you have to do your best and do your work at a zero tolerance for mistakes. Be perfect worker, be a perfect parent, be a perfect student etc. All you ever hear is critique for any minor mistake. Well, on Reddit I can't ask for personal positive feedback. But what about, hearing something nice foreigners might think about my home? Insecurity. I just answered, what do you think about Germany and I wanna know the answer to. Why? I think, smaller, less talked about countries it's pretty cool. Because it works. It's the same reason why there are YouTube channels dedicated to dumb cat videos. Because there are people behind those screens farming thousands of dollars. Or karma. For whatever that's worth. From making easy content that just works because of the average user. With a bit of research and some dedication as well as a lack of morals. You could go around and steal small YouTubers' cat videos and make funny compilations and you would be amazed how much that channel would grow. In comparison you have hard-working artists who pour sweat and tears into their videos that no one cares about. It's the same on Reddit. The person making that post knows what they are doing and they don't care. Faking German see ya in hell cause they can do a better job at fixing our country's problems than our politicians. Because it's embarrassing unilaterally caring and knowing so much about American culture. So we need to feel like we're important too. Which is actually even more embarrassing. Especially when we then turn it into a circle jerk about how superior everything apparently is where we live. It's always fun to learn about other cultures. And part of that is understanding another culture's point of view. You can post the same comment twice and go to either plus or negative 1000 depending on the first. Few votes or replies. My country is not well known but Chile sounds like Chile. Shit can't find my flag. Gathering intel for the motherland. Out of interest. It all depends on the way it's typed. Some people are genuinely interested usually because they're a small country. But for nearly all the Yankee ones I've seen, it's just conceited ego rubbing, expecting some kind of kudos. Now and then in the Australia sub, we get it, Yankee and Australians are the same. They they get smashed with no we're not. I'm boring but haven't asked that question. I swear every question I've seen upvoted in the sub in the last months have been absolutely shite. Low hanging fruit queries. Meta. I don't know what else to ask. Because I'm boring. Dear you, underscore platomir underscore vootin underscore, what do you think about my country? Perhaps to get some enjoyment in their boring life smiley face. What do you think of my country? Think instant. Still a million times better than the, your username is name. Whatever. I don't care. Blah 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 posts. Dear non-earthlings what is your opinion of earth? because not everyone likes third world countries. And where else to ask about my country? I am from Belarus. It's not very nice to live here. Do you think Belarus is a cool country to live in? I've never personally asked that question but I've met loads of people online and their opinions about my country are really really interesting. Thinking of good things to ask is hard. If I get a bajillion upvotes I swear to god I'll stop Reddit entirely. Because Reddit is an echo chamber. There are also a number of bot accounts that repeat a popular post to build up karma which will probably be used in the future. Maybe politically. 
and to give the impression it's a genuine user. Just search our Ask Reddit for a popular title used in a post and see how many similar questions have already been asked and how the top comments are almost always the same. It's a bit like when someone asks how someone did something that broke the law and you know, nice. Try FBI is undoubtedly going to be posted numerous times by the same boring people. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.